Welcome back, guys. I am so excited to spend some time on a Frabjus farm. This episode is going to be the last few days of summer. Dear Meraki, I know you're busy on the farm and that's why you can't visit. I understand. You've been working so hard. Keep it up and you can accomplish anything. Love, Dad. P.S. Included some quality stone. Thanks, Dad. Ooh, and dear valued customer, thanks for visiting Pierre's. Enclosed is your cash back rewards program rebate. See you soon, Pierre. P.S. Sorry for the stock message, Meraki. Enjoy. First things first, let's love on our animals. So, we have to make sure that we wrap up anything that needs done during the summer season. I think the big thing is going to be catching a sturgeon, but I am going to have to double check. Hey, Robin. Yes! I wonder if we'll be able to level up our farming. Oh yeah! Wild honey. Not close enough to the sunflower. Oh well. Maybe we should set up our resin farm here. Oak resin, 24 hours. So we can clear that area and plant some trees. That might be good. Right, let's swing down to the traveling merchant. Oh my gosh, I forgot how cool this farm is. Beautiful. Ah, Jade! Hello! I feel like I'm walking around in blankets. I hope summer never ends. <laughs> I agree, I love summer. The heat is just mm, fantastic. Alright, let's see. There's a rare seed. Should we get a rare seed? I kind of want to. Oh, and you guys, oh, we have to go fishing. That is what we're going to do next. Um. Oh my gosh, red hoodie, how cute! Hoodies are not for summer, but... And a cantaloupe. A tannish melon with a web-like exterior and a pale orange interior. It has a sweet, juicy flavor and a slightly musky aftertaste. Oh, honestly, that sounds delicious. All right, let's double check our community center. Crafts room. Why not donate it? Oh, it's fall. It's not fall yet. It's summer. Bulletin board. I upgraded my house. I haven't. <gasps> we should do that next, huh? Okay. I do not need wool. I am going to invest in a rare seed. Is that worth it? Hmm. Do you guys invest in rare seeds? Like, you can make a lot of money, but you have to wait so long for the return. What do you guys think? Maybe not. Maybe not. Oops. Hitting buttons, I don't know. <laughs> Puck! Hello! Oh, I've missed my four spirit friends. How are you? Oh my gosh! <gasps> Do you see that? There's a Lecto. Okay, all right. Focus. Puck. The forests of the world are all connected. If you know the secret paths, you can travel almost anywhere. <gasps> Ooh, I hope that's true. I hope that's true. Let's see. Indica bud? A ready-to-smoke flower from a cannabis plant. Indica strains have a relaxing and sup soporific effect. Not for minors. Use in moderation. <laughs> Noted. Plus 10 luck. 
minus five energy and speed. Wow, that's fascinating. Um, let's see, can we look it up? Okay, so we do use it in a variety of items. So we are going to need one. And then kiwi. A fuzzy egg-shaped fruit with a bright green interior. They have a tangy, tart, sweet flavor. I love kiwis, guys. They are delicious. Are we kiwis grown in trees or are they... Yeah, kiwi sapling. Okay, so we definitely need a kiwi. Oh, guys, I can't wait until... We not make seeds out of it? Okay, I don't know if I should have done that, but here we are. Um, what I was saying is I can't wait until we have our greenhouse. Oh, those will be the days. Hello, Electo. Only people with strong magical affinity can see through invisibility spells like the one I'm currently using. Unfortunately, that includes small children. Ugh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. It is time to go fishing, guys. We need to go fishing so badly. Ooh, I should double check as well if there are particular fish I need to catch when raining. Okay, let's do that. Let's be responsible. Okay, grab pot. Does not require special timing. Tiger trout. I think that's a fall fish, but let's double check fall and winter. Okay. That's for river fish. Master fish. Probably gonna have to go for the lava eel at some point. Walleye is fall. Eel. When is eel? Eel is spring and fall. Raining. So we'll have to get that in fall. Largemouth bass and sturgeon. Okay, alright. So sturgeon it is. And then next season, we're gonna have to do a lot more fishing to round that out. Alright, let's see. Where would I put my fishing pole? <laughs> Crops, forage, flowers, seeds. Oh, we have a rare seed actually, so that's good. We have some trout soup. Let's grab those. Oh, and we have an iridium fishing rod. Excellent. Oh, and another bobber. This is where our seeds live, eh? Let's put our kiwi in there and our seed maker in there. We're going to need to turn our kiwi into seeds. And we're going to see what we can do with the cannabis at some point, too. And then what's in here? <laughs> uh, more random fruit. Okay. <laughs> we're going to have to get organized at some point, but not right now. <laughs> Let's go see if we can catch a sturgeon. I haven't fished in so long. I <laughs> am a little nervous. I think you can only catch them till 7 as well, so I kind of goofed off a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. Oh, our fishing bar is pretty big. That's good. Oh, is this already a sturgeon? That would be amazing. I would like to catch two, one for the community center and one to put in a fish pond so that I never have to do this again. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We already caught a sturgeon. That's excellent. I thought I was going to be here forever and it was a gold star sturgeon. Nice. I wonder if we have a large mouth bass somewhere. Because I also haven't donated that. Come on, one more sturgeon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't, I don't think I can get a chest and a sturgeon, guys. I think I can barely get a sturgeon. 
or or not or i can accidentally get the chest works for me oh i am rusty but we did it let's see bait bait never hurt should i keep fishing our gold star sturgeon. Maybe let's try and get a largemouth bass. I'm not sure if we have one somewhere, but we are going to need to donate it. Ooh, and another sturgeon. Won't say no to that. Loot. We haven't donated one of those yet. There we go. Large mouth bass. All right. <laughs> Good enough for me. Let's see about donating these things. Not master. Let's see. Lake fish bundle? Yeah, there we go. Ta da! Ta da! What do we get? Dress spinner. Alright, alright. We'll take what we can get. Oh, and what are you? Indigo. I think we've had one of those before. Is it just me, or is there a lot of forage? Maybe I ignored it for a while before? <laughs> Help wanted. I require a flounder. Please deliver directly to my study. Well, my friend, I'm not sure. We'll see. Hey, Lulu. Good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. Oh my gosh, and Gus, I love your shirt! Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. And, Emily, if I wasn't so busy, I'd come help you on the farm. Aw, oh, thanks. Ah, <sighs> Groot. A beer brewed from yarrow flowers made since medieval times. Is a light, floral, herbaceous flavor. Drink in moderation. Black tea. Oh my gosh. Cafe caramel. <gasps> I love caramel lattes. Fruit punch. Mmm. Okay. on my horse. That'd be a good place to keep my hoe, huh? <gasps> Ooh! What is this? Bleached coral. Alright, can be made into fertilizer. While I had and was feeling better, but had lost my voice, so I couldn't record because I couldn't narrate, and I do kind of prefer not doing a voiceover. I think it's just a little more natural. It tells the story better. Anyways, I didn't want to record and not be able to narrate at the same time. So I started another playthrough with a series of mods I haven't played that also sounded like a lot of fun. Figured I would try my hand at a 100 day series. So 
I have most of it recorded, and I do need to go through the video footage, but whew, I'm getting off track. I am super excited because I downloaded Diver's Stardew Valley so that I could have the characters have different outfits, and you guys, the outfits are incredible with that mod. Oh my gosh, like, I just, my mind was blown. It is, it's just gorgeous. So, I think that I want to keep the outfit mod that I have in this playthrough, at least for all four seasons, so we can see the mod. But, I do think, I do think I'm going to switch it up after that. I'm kind of debating switching it up sooner, because one thing that's really cool about that mod is that the outfits change regularly. Uh, instead of it just being like seasonal outfits and they wear the same outfit all season, they change based on the weather, the event. I mean, to be honest, I don't really know all of the reasons that they change, but I loved it. I thought it was really cool. Anyway, let me know if you think uh, you guys would want to see that. I think it was a really cool mod. I didn't play with all of the settings, but there are actually quite a few settings the characters can have different body sizes, different skin colors, <sighs> probably even more than that to be perfectly honest, but I thought it was amazing. I feel like we haven't encountered the abandoned bride for a long time. She's just like not in her house. I don't know if you guys remember, but when we first encountered her, there was a calendar that said spring. Maybe she's only out in spring? I don't really know. I don't know. But I do know I want to reorganize all of this, so let's pick these guys up. And then... Let's see, where do we want them to go? I was thinking we should maybe move our animals to their pens over here, or we could instead use this for a tree farm. And we can just have one or two indicator trees around our front door, so then we know when to check to see and collect our saplings. Or should we just put the animals over here? I don't like the animals being so far away because then I forget to take care of them. And until we have like auto petters and auto grabbers, it's kind of inconvenient, huh? What do we think? Maybe we'll put our tree farm down here. Goodness, we are not going to make it to bed. Oh no, oh no. I don't want to pay the money to pass out. Come on, horsey. Oh, whew. we made it inside. Oh, not quite to bed, but we made it inside. <laughs> oh, some things probably never going to change. <laughs> leveled up in farming. Oh, we can make iridium sprinklers and prismatic sprinklers, which is of course one of the mods that I installed. That is excellent. Ooh, a good luck day. I wish I knew what we needed to do. 
you know, in terms of resources. Should I try going to Skull Caverns? Hmm. Ooh! Oak resin is done. I do want to clear this area and set up an oak resin farm. Maybe I'll move that. We'll set up part of it. We'll just move these for now, I think, so that I can chop these trees down as part of our organization. Upgraded. Let's put a dino egg in. Eleven days. No eligible chests found. Do I not have oak resin hanging out somewhere? Guess not. Loot can go there. We do need to find a better spot for our kegs. Where's our watering can? Where's our hoe at? I really don't know. Hmm. So that'll go in recycling. Our fish chest is full. Hmm. I really don't know. Oh, there it is. Whew. Found it. Oh. Hey, um, wow guys, we are so maxed out on space. Yay! <gasps> okay, well, for now, <laughs> if I lose it, remind me I'm putting fishing stuff with recycling and trash, and then probably just sell those fish, huh? Okay. Let's take care of our crops. Hi, kitty baby. Hmm. Another artifact. Wait, wait. Alright, we're just gonna sell those. I don't know what we're doing with them anyway. Dear Meraki, thank you for purchasing a coop upgrade. In addition to doubling the opacity of your coop, I've taken the liberty of installing an incubator. To use the incubator, simply place an egg inside. If you have space left in your coop, the egg will hatch in several days. As always, thanks for your business, Robin. Excellent. Let's see, we'll get rid of the fish. Drop those things off. And casks. I guess casks are gonna go down here for now. Okay. That's our farm kind of taken care of. We do need to do some organization, but it's a good luck day. Let's see, we caught the sturgeon. Maybe we should do a bit of mining. Prismatic shard five days. We also really want the red dwarf scroll. Should I go get the red dwarf scroll? Should that be our mission for the day? Let's do it. Then I can buy bombs. I think that'll be really helpful. Caught a sturgeon. And today we're gonna get a red dwarf scroll. <laughs> I th 
think that you get the red dwarf scroll early in the mines, like from killing slimes and hoeing dirt. I wonder what the best floor is going to be for that. And then, of course, I am for sure going to get distracted by the copper. <laughs> That's just how it goes. There's probably a better starting floor. I just have to figure out which one it is. Well, this isn't bad. upgrade our hoe. Too late now, though. We are on a mission. to swap these silly me. Ooh, infested floor. This is actually probably pretty good. <gasps> we did it! Excellent! Okay. Mission accomplished. So let's donate things to the museum, I think. Can we make it... Oh, yeah. I definitely think there are other things we have to donate, but I really want to get the Dwarf Translation Guide. So, oh wait, can we not? Hello, dear museum patrons. Today, the museum collection is only open for visitors. We will be open to see your artifacts Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. <laughs> okay, I forgot. That's okay. Let's see. Let's go back to the bus stop. Maybe we should just do a little bit of organization. Is that, is that a waste of a good luck day? Ooh, what's this? Grape leaf, a large, broad leaf from a grapevine. They can be used as a food wrap when cooking. They have a verdant, tangy flavor and are tender when eaten fresh. Grape leaves are commonly pickled, then stuffed with minced fillings. They can also be brewed fresh into a flavorful tea. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I think that we need to get ourselves set up for summer. Should we? Oh, we're probably not going to make it. I was going to say go to Robin's and try to move our animal buildings. But let's, we'll do that maybe tomorrow. We'll add it to our, uh, our list of to-dos. Red Dwarf Scroll is done. Move animal buildings. Yeah, we literally only have two more days until fall so we we should definitely spend the rest of the day organizing our farm a little bit Ooh, we are running low on energy should we put our storage over here or should we put our oak farm over here So cute. I kind of feel like I should maybe put some storage stuff over here. And we are definitely going to need some more chests. So, where's our wood? Okay. the chest over there. Do 
Yeah, let's do it. chest on my horse oh my gosh I opened the chest I didn't know I could do that Ooh, yeah apparently I can walk faster than I thought with that Already 1140. I guess we'll have to finish most of this tomorrow. But if I can get all my chests over there, I think that'll help. Then we can organize everything tomorrow. All right, and let's uh, get to bed at a reasonable hour. <laughs> For once, this playthrough. Okay. Another lucky day. All right. We'll start with the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish? Bread. Bread making can be a very complex form of art, but I'll make it simple for you. The most important ingredient is flour, of course. But before we create the dough, we'll need to activate our yeast. They prefer warm water and a little something to feed on. I use plain sugar, but honey or maple syrup will do. You learned how to cook bread. Ooh, you guys. I can't believe tomorrow is fall. We're gonna have to get this farm in order. Dear Meraki, tonight at around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight, Demetrius. Oh, how nice. All right, let's use our horse to get around here. We are going to have to get this farm teed up. Where's she? You mind? I want to get in the door. There we go. So I think I'm going to leave our animals over here. And I'm going to move the coop to this side. And maybe put a fence so they stay contained. And our animals are close. Eventually I'll move them further away, but I just... Not ready yet. <laughs> Miscellaneous fruit. Oh. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh 
No. That's where all our flowers were. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, somehow I moved them all onto my horse. Okay. Don't fully understand that one. But... Okay, so let's see here. I think things like flowers I'm gonna wanna have somewhere down here. Forage. Sometimes forage is used in crafting, so we'll maybe put this here for now. Artifacts and crafting. Definitely some crafting. Seeds. Miscellaneous. All right, let's put forage here. I thought I had another crafting desk. All right, well, that's a little bit better for right now. And then let's grab our crops. Hmm. All right, we're gonna have to make a couple more chests anyway. I might as well do that, and then this is gonna kind of be a catch-all for a minute. Okay. Ancient fruit we have to leave. Hot peppers. Okay, so there are a couple of those that are gonna stay, but otherwise, let's set this up. One, two, three, four more of those, I think. All right. I think that's good for right now. Honestly, let's see. Let's go to the traveling merchant. And then we also need to go and move our coop. You really should have upgraded my hoe, huh? Too late now. Hello, my dear. What sort of things do you have for me today? Green cardamom pod. Okay, not much. Let's say hi to Puck. Well, we need to start bringing them gifts again, huh? Oh, that's right. That's why I had all that alcohol. They like alcohol. <laughs> I wondered why I had so many pale ales. You happen to produce alcohol on your farm? <laughs> It makes an excellent offering for the forest spirits, of course. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lucky Clover plus 15 luck. Are these the things we've been finding? You can't... can't make seeds, but I feel like we should try that. And then a foxberry. A wild relative of the lingonberry. The shrub this fruit was grown on has been enchanted by forest spirits. When you eat these berries, you can feel the spirit of the fox flow into you, enhancing your cunning and charisma. Ooh, I like it. Hopefully we can make a sapling out of it. <laughs> okay. Now to Caroline's, I think. Ooh, we also need a duck. Hmm. Should we buy a duck yet? I guess we do have quite a bit of forage that we should be able to sell. Howdy, Marnie. Well, let's do it. We're gonna buy a duck. And let's see, what are we gonna call our duck? Hmm. Chi-Chi? 
Kind of like work work. Great. I'll send little Chi Chi to her new home right away. Thanks, Marnie. Let's also, I just realized, grab a gift for Caroline. Forage. Ooh, forage we said is up here. We will give her a daffodil. where Caroline is. Caroline. Caroline's at the general store. Okay. Hopefully she's not in her room this time again. <laughs> Terrible luck with that. Oh, and she is not. Hello, Caroline. Yes, two hearts. Oh, goodness, are you sure? You want to play a cruel joke on Abigail? Give her infernal puree. She might not forgive you, though. <gasps> Ooh, well, what's infernal puree? <laughs> oh, and Pierre, let's see. Anything new or interesting for sale? Walnut and pear saplings. Cilantro flakes, yum. Cilantro leaves, which have been de-stemmed and dried for preservation. They're not as flavorful as fresh herbs, but they last much longer in the pantry. What do we do with them? Interesting. Make teas and powders. Okay, okay. All right, let's see if I can get in Caroline's greenhouse because it would be a total game changer if we could sell tea saplings. <gasps> Watermelon, how cute! <gasps> oh, and we did, we got it! Hello, Miss Caroline. Oh, hi, good morning, Meraki. I'm glad you came in. I've been meaning to show you this. It's my private sunroom. So, what do you think? Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Relaxing, too hot. <laughs> Uh, definitely not. And not as good as my farm. How rude. It's beautiful. Thank you. I've worked very hard to make it this way. You see, this is my sanctuary. A place where I can always find peace. And it's a perfect place to drink my homegrown tea. Here, let's have a cup. Uh, yes, please. Delicious. I love to come in here for a fresh cup of tea every day. It's my little ritual. Uh, let me try to explain. No need to explain to me, Caroline. That sounds divine. When I'm alone with relaxing tea, my mind is empty and free to wander. Who knows what might appear? Uh, <laughs> Caroline, what do you put in your tea exactly? <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope that makes sense. Life can be pretty hectic, so having a hobby like this is nice. Feel free to come here and relax anytime you want, okay? Oh, I love it. I wonder, actually, if we can get tea from her bush. <laughs> or maybe that's the tea leaf we got by walking in the room. Because <laughs> don't tea leaves sprout every, it's like every month, the last week or something like that. I really haven't ever invested a lot in tea leaves other than the fact that they look nice. Do they make like a reasonable amount of money or? Ooh la la. Hopefully she'll send us the recipe for tea saplings in the mail, and then we can make and sell some tomorrow. Because honestly, the amount of money we currently have are not enough for seeds. 
Hey, Robin. Ooh, how much is a house upgrade? 10G. That's not gonna happen. But if you wouldn't mind moving some buildings around for me, I would be much obliged. Should we put it here? Maybe here? That's pretty cute. And then should we move our horse? I think this is another question I have. Except for that I can't. I can't squish my own crops. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Hmm. Do there, but that's probably a little bit inconvenient. What if we do this and then we move that there? Oh, that's right, we talked about setting up a tree farm over here. I will end up putting my animals over here. I just prefer to do it when we have little warp totems, but or if we have auto cutters eventually. But okay, we'll do that. Thank you much, Robin. Back to my farm. Hope I'm not forgetting anything for summer. <laughs> oh. Alright, so. Ooh, you know what I did kind of want, actually. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna get rid of these crops. We're gonna put our horse where we wanted our horse. And then I want to get a workbench. I think that'll be really nice for crafting, honestly. Oh no, oh no, no, Robin! Oh, dang it. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a waste of time. Oh well. We'll set up and maybe get it tomorrow. We need the money for crops anyway. What am I saying? Clover, I was like, oh no. I'm also curious to know, my last video was a short video, and it was still 20 minutes long. Do you guys think that it's better to do these longer videos with several days together? Or do you think more frequent shorter videos that are more like one or two days would be better. I'm really curious to know. I feel like a lot of playthroughs play through several days and it kind of makes sense like some days like all you do is fish. Like <laughs> it's an important part of the playthrough but not all that entertaining. So let me know what you think. I am definitely curious and honestly just might try a variety of formats. That might be the way to go. Okay, well, that was a lot of watching me do a whole lot of organization, but I think we have a better sense of what we have, which is good. Now let's see if we can make it to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies, honestly. Hey, Marnie. You headed to the festivities, or what? Ooh, I think we made it. Hey, John. It's a beautiful night. It'll get even better when we see the jellyfish. There's a story in the book Yoba that I've loved since grade school. It's about the first peoples of Ferngill getting lost on sea in a thick fog. They were lost for days and low on supplies. The voice of Yoba summoned a trail of glow jellies to lead them to the new homeland when the group started losing faith. <laughs> wow. A little bit of uh, Yoba history, huh? Hey, Caroline. These candles are romantic, aren't they? They are. 
and Pierre. Ooh. Can't afford much, can we? <laughs> hey, Pam. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, that's right. We have the swim mod on. I'm gonna have to be careful not to jump in the water a bunch. Moonlight jellies? I wonder how they taste. <laughs> I would never try it, of course. And Penny. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Jellyfish remind me of crystal rosebuds. Ooh. Such an incredible sight. Sounds beautiful. And Vincent. I want to see the rare green jelly. Hey, Seb. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Ooh. Riley, I'm so excited. I've never seen the jellies dance before, but it sounds beautiful. Abby, such a rare and exciting thing. And Sam, I wonder if they're poisonous. <laughs> Some jellies are, you're not wrong. Hey, Haley, you look beautiful. Should have brought my camera. I always forget. Alex, I can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. And Marnie. I knew I'd see you here, Marnie. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of people down there. Hey, Shane. The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. Very profound, Shane. Very profound. <gasps> I hope there are babies this year. <laughs> I bet there will be, Jazz. Hi, Aspen. It's really nice when the whole town comes together for these festivals. And Louis. Good evening, Meraki. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Hey, Willie. Most night fish would be scared of the light, but these are strange ones. And Boris. I hope these docks are sturdy. I've never been a good swimmer. <laughs> oh, Jody, I do love your sweater. There. I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. And Jade. This is going to be so pretty. Hey, Emily. Look out there, at the endless sea. Deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? <laughs> Very. And Lyle, it's a beautiful night. I hope you enjoy the festival. You too, Lyle. Oh! I'm gonna go for a little swim. <laughs> and Clint, again with the teal, big fan. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Oh, you mean Emily didn't notice. And Elliot, if we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. Oh, that would be a shame. Let's see, I think there are probably a couple more people we can see. Hey, Charlie, these jellies, do you know that they're older than this whole town? Some of them have more than a thousand years. And this is just the beginning of their life. Well, that's crazy if that's true. How old do jellies get? Oh, Miss Evelyn, I love the pearls. I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. But that was long ago. I'm a lot less energetic now. <laughs> and George. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? Oh. Not at all. But while we're at it, we might as well swim to the other side. <laughs> oh, but we have to catch Harvey. Harvey! Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. 
<laughs> yeah, if you do live in a humid place, I think mosquitoes are pretty miserable. I swell up a lot with everybody. It's terrible. Hey, Maru. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. That it is. And a robin. Oh, it's past my bedtime. Mind you. And Demetrius, the Moonlight Jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their long journey south. It's unknown why they are attracted to light. Very curious. Indeed. Ooh, and Eugene! Walks on the beach at night are so soothing thanks to the sound of the waves. Hmm? Oh, why am I standing in the dark? Because I like dark places, that's why. <laughs> okay. And last but not least, hey Razzy. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I'm here to observe the Lunaloos, or Moonlight Jellies as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life. Indeed. And, ooh, I said last but not least, but we haven't said hi to Linus. I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Oh, You're not a bother, Linus. Not to me. Alright, let's do this thing. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Yes, indeed. Ooh, they put all the candles out as well. I thought they were attracted to the light. Aw, and here they come. Look at them all. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was an event that we could see like this? <gasps> oh, and there are the babies, Jazz. I hope you see them. They're coming straight for you. And the rare green jelly. There it is. All foretold by our villagers. The glow of summer is faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Alright. It is midnight, we have a little bit of time. I think we're pretty well organized over here. Let's grab the things we're gonna sell. these down. I guess I'll put them back where they were. Oh, wait. I can't put them on this side, actually. Oh, my horse. My horse is my tools. Can I pick this up? I'll do this for now. And then... Oh, it's 110. so it gets going and I guess that's it we gotta go to bed <laughs> call it a night good night summer oh my gosh maybe you should stay home <laughs> Oh, and here it is, guys. Welcome to fall. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. All right, guys. <laughs> That's going to be it for today. I had so much fun again on Frabdus Farm. I have missed this playthrough so much. And all of you, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Please give it a like. Drop a comment down below. 
I respond to every comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!